Hey guys, this is Kobach. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Halo 3 Master Chief from the Series 1 McFarlane toy line. Let's go ahead and dive right into the posability of the figure. I know that's not a word, but I kind of like it. Uh, all the Spartan figures have articulation in their neck, shoulders, elbows, wrists, waist, hips, knees, ankles, and feet. They have so much posability, it is simply amazing. I love the Spartan figures. They are great for putting them in different poses. Um, if you just want to have it as a collector and just set it somewhere as a kid or someone a little bit older, it's great to have the figures be bendable um, just because some figures are really not in different toy lines. Also, if you're in stop motion, great to have for stop motion because they can pose and their head can turn and they, they can do so much more than most other action figures can. Uh, this figure includes the assault rifle. That's it. No grenades, no nothing. Just an assault rifle. Um, his hands, like if you want to switch different guns, his left hand is just open so he can actually grab onto like the assault rifle like in the video game or the battle rifle or shotgun. Um, as far as putting other weapons in his hands, I would only suggest the battle rifle and shotgun and the assault rifle. That's it. No other guns. Maybe the plasma pistol. Now I don't have a pistol yet or an SMG so I can't really test those. But as far as anything else goes, the way his hand is with this figure, I wouldn't suggest putting anything else because you could possibly break the gun. Uh, as a note, if this is your first figure from the McFarlane toy line, the guns can break. They are very stiff plastic. There's no bendability. I'm just making words up now. But there's no bendableness in the, the gun itself like in Star Wars figures or most other action figures. The, the plastic's more... Uh, Pliable, not with these guns. They will break. But super glue, they're awesome again. Uh, the paint job with this figure is really great. Uh, I really like it. Out of I have two other Master Chiefs from different series, and this one is the best. He is the best wash, the best paint job overall. They really did a really great job on the Series 1. So overall, I'd give this figure a 5 out of 5. So if you don't have one, I'd suggest getting it.